What's up guys, this is your boy Russian on the free to play 2024 competition. All right, so first of all, uh, I am doing a major change right now on how I play the game, okay? Today is day 11 uh, for us in the competition and I feel I need to change, okay? We're about to go into day 12 so basically uh what i have right now in my champions okay i have six star kyle and i have kale whatever you want to call and a six star miscreated monster everything else 50s and a few 40s now i have some really have 40s some of them no gear right now and that's why i need to stop you know playing the game the way i have been uh, it's been pretty good for me. I'm right now, as of now, and it can change any second. I'm on third place overall. Uh, I was second, going to third, and honestly, I'm kind of stuck in that position. Now, a lot of people may say, like, uh, you you want to be first. I want my team to be first, okay? Uh, but the thing is, it's not going to happen if I'm stuck where I am, okay? But so how am I going to change? Am I going to get like uh, a few more six stars? Yeah, sure, that will help a lot. But how do I get there quicker? And that's when you have to like really stop and think. So let's let's take a look in what I can do right now. All right. So if I go to campaign, I clear brutal. I clear all the other ones. And I am stuck right now on Nightmare. Uh, basically because of Infinity and everything, I cannot beat those guys. Now, one of the main reasons why I cannot beat those guys is I don't have the right gear. Okay? If I had maybe slightly better gear, I would be able to pass, get off this god-awful Infinity for Miscreated Monster and Kyle, because they have the same, so it's not like one's helping the other. Uh, and be able to jump into Palace of Arabia, what is a perfect affinity for me, right? That being said, if I do that, I get five ancient shards and chance to get, you know, some epic champions. But I can't do that right now, even having those two as six stars and other five stars. Why? Because basically, my gear is okay. For the most part right but it's still four star and it is a huge difference between four star and five star and six star gear so how do i fix that well a lot of people uh oh gets more six star sure and how long does it take when you're free to play uh it takes a long time in the most when you're not seeing like free energies uh, coming from anywhere. Like a lot of times server have issues. Guess what? You get free energies. It's not happening right now. Okay. So the way to fix that is I'm going to start actually change my game instead of focusing on level level uh, leveling my chicken. Uh, what I'm going to start doing is I'm gonna start working on getting better gear. And yes, it does take a lot more energy, but I will be applying that on Dragon to get lifesteal gear and some other dungeons. Also spider, etc. Okay. Because I feel I will waste less energy, be able to reach like higher levels on dungeons and be able to get even better gear. Also, be able to level on campaign a lot easier and a lot faster. So that's my plan right now. Also, I am taking a bit of a hold um, on using most of my rares, not all, but most of my rares as chicken. And that's also because I'm gonna be starting to work on Faction Wars. Now, sure, it's something that if you look in like a span of three months, 
I can actually get those um, through time. Yeah, and after a while, you know, just working with rares and epics for the most part, you're gonna get stuck at some point. So it, it's gonna be like playing catch up with the other players. And points wise, it's gonna be the same. That's the thing, this is not a sprint, that's a marathon. But if I actually have a team, um, I can actually sub them for better players, right? Better champions. So that's pretty much uh, where I'm going with my plan. Okay. Also, also, because I guarantee after a month and a half, two months, a lot of the other competitors are gonna be kind of tired of the competition. So, yeah, they won't be applying themselves as much. I gonna still be doing the same thing, okay? That's me, this competition being great for me. I I'm fully invested to that to the end. What can I say? I'm a competitive guy, okay? I love that. So that's what my plan is right now. Arena as well. Um, I have been using as many as I can in here. Yes, I am picking easy fights. I mean, why should I pick like hard fights in a competition? It makes no sense. Actually, right now I'm actually going to save those because I need to get the energy for the five um, class arena fights uh, as soon as that resets, which is in about an hour. So yeah, uh, that's mostly my plan right now. I probably gonna be saving some shards and start to opening them when you have a 2x event. Uh, also to give me more chance to get better void, uh, not better void champions, but better epics. Um, Great Hall, for example. Yes, I did open most of that. I'm probably gonna open this one as a one. And it's not actually as a lot of people think because of the points in the competition. As you see here, I could have opened that a while ago. I am trying to get accuracy, HP, and resistance for my champions because I do need to have a lot of poisoners. So I do need accuracy. And a lot of times, the most on a free to play, when you're lower level, uh, it's hard to be able to get the right gear uh, that gives you um, everything you need, like uh, crit damage, crit rate, and accuracy on top of that. Okay, so I will be applying on that as I go, because as of right now, I can hit poison in the clan boss and everything. So I'm not full desperate on raising that, but it's something I have to watch and I have to work on every single chance I can. Okay. Um, Doom Tower, I've been doing really great now. It's not 100% wins, okay? A lot of times I have to stop doing Fronauto and actually manually doing the fights. Um, no complaints on that, but that's a reality about free to play. Okay? I don't have masteries in all of them, so I have to do what I have to do. But so far, I would say my champions, I lucked out. I don't have any, you know, top champion. Um, like man eater or anything, but those champions do their job and they are keeping me alive and just pushing content as they can. Now, sure, campaign, little bits of issues. They're not strong enough. Um, I'm really glad that didn't make the choice to get uh, Blade Master as my next six star. I feel miscreated monsters keep me alive longer. Now, probably, yes, the next one may be Hin. It seems that Hin as a six star makes such a big difference, okay? I'm not, look, any champion from five to six star make a huge difference, but he seems to do a lot more, okay? Not gonna focus on Minotaur right now, like, I, I, I don't know, I believe, I don't know if that was Hell Hades or some of those guys said they're focusing on that to get masters. Um, I probably gonna hold on for a bit on that 
uh, my focus now is also another reason why I'm going into the dungeons is silver. You see, I have like 468, and my next mission right now is get two champions with six level 16 artifacts. So I have to work in one more. And the reason why I need to do that right now is because in an hour from now, uh, Force Potion Keep is going to be opening. What it means, that's my own chance. Uh, and if I miss that, only in about, only by the end of the week, I'm going to be able to actually get the Force Keep again. So I'm going to be stuck in here. And if I do that, well, I actually do have until the end of the week. I could actually wait a few days because the falling ones void. What it means is going to be open only on Sunday. So if I get that now or I believe like Friday, I should be okay. So I don't have to fully rush in here. Um, but I wouldn't mind getting uh, some gear from the Fire Knight's Castle. You know, most because I was lucky enough to pull a lure. So I should be able to, if I get decent enough um, equipment, I should be able to get a little bit higher in there. So that's gonna help me a lot. So yeah, uh, it's a little different. My luck, as I may have mentioned some of you guys, is just because I've been for the last few months, uh, when I was thinking of, when I was planning to come back to YouTube, I start um, running a few trials on Fridge Plays. What made me have about like six Fridge Play accounts right now. Um, but basically, it taught me a lot. I learned from a lot of mistakes I made. And I'm actually using all that knowledge in, the, in this Fridge to Play. And that's also the reason why I plan to, probably in about a few weeks or a month, I'm gonna be working on a Fridge Play series. More of like teaching new players of how to get better champions, how to optimize their time in the game. Because I feel a lot of people decide to leave the game because they they just get lost. A lot of information, it's a lot of champions. And, you know, um, I'm sorry, but a lot of my peers, when they talk, they talk about, you know, their accounts what are level 100 or you know so it's very hard for people to keep up when they have like basic champions so i feel that would help them a lot now am i going to say i only have free to play accounts no i don't i have another account i start playing again the game uh less than a year ago i'm level 76 i believe and i don't have a lot of the great champions that some people have okay but I make it do, and I make it work, and I'm very low spender. Um, and I'm actually doing better with my account now because I'm learning from my mistakes building that account by playing free to play accounts. So, yeah, I want to share that with you guys eventually. Uh, hopefully, soon I'm getting more into you know the whole thing of making videos all the time, what has been great. I really appreciate you guys, and um. Yeah, let me know what you want me to talk about. Let me know uh, if you guys want me to test anything. And um, yeah, thank you very much. Glad to see that you got to this point of the video. And as always, I'll see you in the game.